Africa de los Heres was born on April 26, 1909 in Ceuta. She is Spanish by nationality. The girl got her name in honor of her place of birth, a port city located in Morocco on the African continent. The child's father worked as a military archivist. He was exiled to the colonial troops for opposition views, and his mother was engaged in household chores and raising children. Africa studied in Madrid, but in 1923, unexpectedly for her parents, she went to the Black Continent. De Los Heras was educated at a monastery school. She returned to the Iberian Peninsula only after T.H. E. death of her father. Already in her youth, the Spaniard was imbued with the ideas of communism. Rad revolutionary literature, the young girl adhered to radical political views. She participated in the preparation of the Miners' Rebellion in 1934, which turned out to be unsuccessful. Persecuted by the authorities, Africa was in an illegal position. Surveillance of it ceased after the Republicans came to power during the Spanish Civil War. The girl took the side of the Popular Front. She had a personal dislike for Francisco Franco. The Moroccan units under his control defeated the rebel movement in Asturias. Since 1937, Africa cooperated with Soviet intelligence, which used it to collect information in Europe. Caridad Makeda conducted negotiations with the Spaniard in 1938. De Los Heras was taken to Moscow, received Soviet citizenship, and got a job at a textile factory. After the invasion of German troops, a scout from the USSR went to the front. She took an accelerated course for radio operators. In 1942, Africa joined the Pobeditelli partisan detachment. The group was led by Dmitry Medvedev. The saboteurs acted on the territory of the Rivna region, the Spaniard participated in the hostilities and received an award the Order of the Red Star. Africa met the end of the war in Moscow. She was retrained to work illegally in Europe. In 1946, the intelligence officer went to Paris and then to Latin America, where she spent almost two decades. In Uruguay, the spy organized an extensive intelligence network collected information about the U.S. nuclear program and collaborated with the Cuban intelligence services. After returning to Moscow, de los Heras was assigned to a training center among her students, the married couple Vitoli and Tamara Natixa Standout. Africa taught Spanish, talked about the cultural characteristics of Latin America, shared the experience gained during business trips. The scout retired in 1985. Africa de los Heres has been married four times, at the age of 19. She got married to a military officer from Spain. The turning point in their relationship was the death of a child in childhood. The husband did not provide any psychological support, and the couple divorced. In addition, the couple adhered to different political currents. The man approved of the actions of Colonel Franco. Africa was one of those people whose work was higher than their personal lives. A Santiago Corillo, the leader of the Spanish communists, described the young revolutionary in his memoirs in 1937. The girl met Ramon Makeda. Young people were preparing an assassination attempt on Leon Trotsky. The girl worked as a secretary of a revolutionary and at the same time, they built relationships. In the film The Secret Woman, their love story is supplemented by numerous speculations. For example, according to the plot, they connected to parts of one photograph after years of separation. Africa de los Eras, how a Spaniard became a legend of Soviet intelligence, https colon slash slash t dot co slash qzkg oqccopic.witter.com slash 0g9kcaz99p in Paris. Africa met the Uruguayan pianist Felisberto Hernandez. Thanks to him she moved to Latin America. The marriage did not last long. The husband was jealous of his beautiful wife, who easily sought attention from the opposite sex, and accused her of cheating. In addition, 
The musician was frightened by the liberal views of his beloved. In 1956, the Spaniard married another illegal spy Giovanni Bertone, known under the pseudonym Valentino Marchetti. A fictitious marriage of convenience unexpectedly turned out to be successful it lasted eight years. Until the sudden death of her husband, Africa was very upset by the death of a loved one, but found the strength to continue collecting information throughout her life. The intelligence officer maintained an aura of mystery. She signed documents with pseudonyms. Africa stuck to the legend of being the daughter of a Spanish general who died in the Spanish Civil War. Many facts from the biography of an amazing woman are still unknown. The secrecy stamp has not been removed from all documents. Africa died on March 8, 1988 in Moscow. The cause of death is unknown on International Women's Day. The famous spy was supposed to be awarded the badge Honorary State Security Officer, the award to K Place posthumously. The tomb of the scout is located at the Kavansky Cemetery.